In this video, we're going to look at including fonts using the Google Fonts API. We're going to go ahead and set up a page with a paragraph or something like that. And we'll go ahead and implement a font of our choice. So let's open up our text editor and just quickly create a document so we can work with some fonts here. So let's create a title here and let's also create an, uh, a link for our style sheet. So I'm going to link in maybe main.css let's go ahead and just create this now so let's create a new folder called CSS and we'll store main.css the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to choose the import option as we'll see in a moment so let's create a paragraph of text here just say hello I am a paragraph of text and let's go ahead and preview this in our browser so it looks like that nothing special so over to Google fonts what we're now going to do is choose a font that we want now luckily one of my favorite fonts is at the top here I'm just gonna hit quick use so what this does is it gives us the uh, options for the font and we get this handy little page load graphic here that tells us the impact on our page load which is really important and I am going to talk about this so it's good good practice to only choose the different weights of the font that you actually want so we've got things like extra bold italic which you may not want so don't tick it you can always add these really easily later on so don't think that this is the final uh, you know time to choose what you need so let's say we want normal and light so let's just choose them too uh, we've got with this font we've got the option to choose the character sets that we want and then we've got three different options now my preferred option is using import but you can go ahead and simply copy and paste this into a similar location that we have just added our style sheet so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the import tab and I'm basically just going to copy this I'm going to head back over to my style sheet here and I'm going to paste that in now we're not done yet that's obviously not going to give us our font because we need to define what we where we want this font to apply so let's say we want this to apply to the body all we do is we say font family and then we give it the name of the font with the fallback so in this case Google suggests to us that we use open sans well that's a requirement but we also have a sans serif fallback as well so this font name is called open sans and it's a uh, sans serif type so what we can do now is go to our browser, hit refresh, and we have our font on our page. Now I mentioned earlier that with the font weights, this isn't the last time you can actually choose them. You may have noticed that we do actually have the ability to pass in the different weights here. So let's say, for example, you wanted the bold 700. You can simply go ahead and include this here, and you can go ahead and set the font weight here to 700 perhaps, Go ahead and refresh and that takes into account so that's a quick overview on using google fonts to integrate fonts into your website